hey, let's let's remember what's in the classroom. There's my powder mountain um, um, water bottle. Here's my pretend Visco Girl water bottle. And, and there's the two monster cans. One that's my favorite flavor, which was um, which was undone, and this was the bet I won from Mrs. Dornfeld, and she's still upset um, that I put it up there. There's the buttons. I got to make a few more buttons for a couple kids this year, <coughs> but say let's learn about the law of cosines, <coughs> given this side angle and side. What does that look like? We're in, oh, there it is. Law of cosines. Given side angle side. <sighs> Look here. I've got a side 30, an angle 59, a side 34. Hey, this is in fact the easy law of cosines. Since I know angle A, I choose a formula that has the A on the end. Since I've got the A on both ends, I'm trying to find. Let me try again. I want to find the A. So I put the formula that's got the A on both ends. All right, what I've done is across from big B is little b, across from big C is little c. When you have this situation where you have numbers everywhere, you just type the whole thing into your calculator right there and hit enter. Whoa, that would be a pretty big side. Wait a second, that is a squared equals that. You have to hit the square root of that. And you hit the square root, and hello. Hello, so it said a equals 30, I don't know, well, a, a squared was, edit that, 1,005.322. Hit the square root button. It's approximately 31.7. That's that.